back to a new vlog so today is Wednesday and I have to get some grocery shopping done today I haven't been to Trader Joe's in like a month I can't believe I haven't like done a haul in so long but we're gonna do that today and I've seen a lot of new things there so I really want to try some new things I want to pick up more flowers my flowers have been dead for like two weeks in my apartment so I just want to get back to my like routine of you know restocking the food and getting flowers and I really today need to go get some gas because have you guys heard of the the gas shortage on the east coast of the United States if you live in the United States but yeah apparently I think the biggest like oil company on the east coast supplies like 45 percent of the oil on the east coast like they got hacked and so they had a shutdown and people are panic buying gas or panic pumping. I think everyone just needs to chill out. Like it's the same thing with the toilet paper when the pandemic started. But yeah, my gas is on E, so I guess I should probably go fill it up in case all the gas decides to run out. But I don't think Maryland is that bad. I think it's like really bad in like Florida, Georgia. How is it in your hometown? By the time I post this, hopefully things will be better, but yeah. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go grocery shopping and we're gonna go buy some gas. Uh, but I should probably make my bed and clean first. So we'll do that. Oh, oh, TD. I'm so obsessed with this t-shirt that I just got. This is from H&M and it's just so cute. I love the back of it. And got on my girlfriend collective leggings, comfiest leggings I have. And then I haven't shown these yet in a vlog, but I did show these in my current favorites video. They are new balances. Oh my God. I'm so obsessed. So if you want the link for these shoes, go check out that video. Off we go. Beautiful, beautiful day. Like absolutely gorgeous. Look at the sky. No, the line is out of the whole, oh my God, I can't go here. No, 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 no. The line is like, like out in the street. Oh my God, <laughs> why is this happening? Oh my God, people are so annoyed. I was so annoyed over the whole toilet paper thing. I understand why Clorox was sold out during that time because like, you know, people want to have cleanliness, but when toilet paper was sold out, I was like, for what? But why? And now, oh, I'm just, I'm just annoyed. Okay guys, so I'm currently at another one. The line is actually longer than the last one I went to, but I'm just gonna stay here because I just need to like, I just need to pick one because I'm guessing they all have long lines. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. The line, there's a line there from that road. I'm in a line and it's just literally ridiculous. And my friends were telling me that a lot of the gas stations are all out of the like regular gas um, and they, they had to get premium gas, which is fine. I'll get any gas at this point because I guess we're all desperate. And the prices are way up. What is the price now? Okay, the price is up 20 cents. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. I get anxiety with things like this. Like when I have to wait in a line with my car, especially at a gas station where there's like no direction, I get really like scared because I just feel like I don't know where to go. Hopefully, I think there's someone actually guiding. Oh my gosh, wait, is there no more gas? Wait, oh my God, I think he's telling people to leave. <gasps> oh my God, I have to find another gas station. Okay, so I think I have to go to another gas station because I think this one is all out. What, what, what's going on? What's happening? No more gas? I'm gonna just go in. You guys, this is literally a hot mess. Oh my God, it's so bad. I'll show you guys. I think there's some more gas left in these pumps. So this is what I'm waiting on. And there's a car that's trying to get through and I don't know where he's going. Oh my God, I get anxiety in these situations. Okay guys, update on the gas situation. Holy crap, as I'm saying that, I'm driving by another gas station in the line. Okay, so I got gas, I'm on full, and I went to this gas station, 
that I had to drive all across town. I actually went to, that was my fourth one that I went to and I had luck there, but they only had ultra left. Like, you know how they have like the, the basic gas and then like premium and then uh, like the other premium one. And then there's like the very top tier, the most expensive one, that's all they had. So I got it and my tank is full and it cost me $65. So that's nice. But yeah, I went to three different ones before that. The first two, they had super long lines and like people were waiting and then the, the guys that were like the workers there were like, sorry, we're all out, like leave. So then everyone had to leave, get out of line. I went to another one, all of them were completely closed down. I was gonna go to another one, I called my dad up. My dad's trying to get gas too. We're like strategizing, we're like, okay, where are the stations with gas? And so he told me that the one, the one I was about to drive to, I was on my way there. My dad said, no, I was just there. They're all out, don't go there. And so I went to one that he was at, but I didn't see him there. He actually left to go to another one. And that's the one that I got the ultra gas at. And I was like talking to like the, the lady next to me. She was like, did you get ultra? I was like, yeah. And like we were talking about it and, we're, and she was like, this is okay for the car, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, it's just ultra. It's like, it's actually good for your car. It was like a madhouse. I I cannot believe the world that we're living in. But I think this issue will be resolved by the weekend. Like they say by the end of this week, today's Wednesday. So I think they're saying by the end of this week or this weekend, like the company that shut down will be back up again. This is like so stupid. I was just so angry driving around trying to find gas like what is this world we live in where there is a gas shortage so anyway this is great for tesla though i'm sure many people will want to switch over to tesla i want to switch over to tesla so now that that's taken care of that took an hour of trying to find gas i'm gonna go to trader joe's and hopefully it's not as crowded there because i feel like everyone's out getting gas and they're not even concerned about groceries at this point got it in the bag. They gave me a little bucket for my flowers because I got so many. Iconic. Okay guys, haul time. So I picked up a bunch of flowers. I wanna put the white roses on the coffee table and the yellow, I'm not sure, what are these called? I forgot what they were called. They start with like a C, right? But I got three of these and I'm gonna put them on the dining table. And we got some corn, extra sweet. I love, love corn on the cob in the summertime. And avocados, red onion. This is a brand new flavor of sparkling water. They carry raspberry lime. I don't know how I'll like it, but it was brand new, so I wanted to give it a try. And then I got my Ezekiel bread. I got some gala apples, and a funny story about apples, I actually hate apples, or I used to. I loved, always loved apple juice, have always hated the texture of apples, and they always left me feeling even hungrier after, but I'm starting to like them again. Restocked on my La Colombe oat milk latte, and then I got a couple of these wellness shots, and I think one of you guys commented on my last vlog and told me to try this, so I got the ginger one and the turmeric one. I think I'll take one of these today. I love wellness shots. And then I just got almond milk. Got my favorite everything with the bagel nut duo. And this is new at my store. I've seen people get these and I was looking for them every time I went to my Trader Joe's and they finally have it in stock. So I already opened it and I tried it. It's so delicious. And I got some more of the soy cheese blend that I always get. I got some pizza sauce because I want to make like an at home pizza with like healthy tortillas. I think I might make it in this vlog. Maybe I'll make it tonight. And we got some of the chili onion crunch, so good. Then just got some arugula, broccoli, and I had to restock on extra virgin olive oil. And I love how this one comes with the, what do you call this? It comes with a thing. So you can just like put it on here and use it as is. And we got some chili lime seasoning. And I had to restock on pink salt crystals for my electric grinders. We got some pesto. I like to use this on sandwiches. Also got some egg salad. I've never tried this before, but I am obsessed with egg salad. I love making egg salad sandwiches. So maybe we'll make a little sandwich one day for lunch. And got some pepperoni for the homemade pizzas. 
We got some low sodium turkey breast. I love these in my sandwiches. And I got some pork chops. I really like pork chops, so maybe one day for dinner this week I'll make that. And I wanna season it with the chili lime seasoning. And last but not least, we got some fruit. I got some mango chunks and strawberries. So that's all. I'm gonna put it all away and probably have some lunch because I'm super hungry. Here's the first arrangement and you know what I didn't even notice when I bought them in store but I feel like these are left over from Mother's Day because a lot of them are kind of dying it's fine they still look okay and I trimmed them down a lot shorter than what I showed because after I stopped filming I decided I didn't like how tall they were so now they're a little bit shorter so that they're just like peeking above super cute I'm obsessed with white roses and here is the dining room arrangement I love the yellow color I think it's so pretty in this vase. So my dining table, I finally cleaned. It had a lot of clutter on it. I didn't show it because it looked so bad, but finally cleaned it. And I also filled up my fruit basket. So yeah, dining table looking really nice. And the fridge is restocked and organized. Love to see it. Ah, uh, nice and clean. Ooh, I just got a package from Abercrombie that I'm so excited about. I got a pair of shorts from the Curve Love line. I talked about this in my Amazon, no, not my Amazon. I talked about this in my current favorites video. I talked about the Curve Love line. And these are great for if you are bigger on the bottom and smaller in the waist. I always have problems with jeans and shorts because I feel like they're made for people that are like not curvy. So I bought one of these. I actually got another one. I guess it's coming separately, but this one here is the cutoff short. It's high rise. I got it in a size 30 and you have to get your jeans bigger than your normal size so that they're not like so tight on you. But this is what they look like. They're pretty short, but I wanted to use these for the beach or for the pool. And I love the style of the cutoff. So cute. So I'm going to try them on. I'll show you guys. Hopefully they fit good. Oh my God, you guys, they fit so perfectly. Like literally, oh my God, they're stretchy too. Yeah, the curve line, you guys, you need to check it out. And these I think were $60. So a little bit pricey, but totally worth it in my opinion because they fit so freaking good. And they're not too short in the back. I think they're like a pretty good length in the back. Okay guys, so it's around 6.30 and I wanted to make some dinner. So we're gonna make some low calorie pizza. We're gonna use the stuff that I bought at Trader Joe's today. We're gonna be using the carb balanced tortillas and each has 70 calories. And then we're gonna be using the Trader Joe's fat free pizza sauce. And then I have some of the soy cheese leftover, but this is the same one that I bought today. 
And then lastly, we're gonna be using the pepperoni that I got today. I think I'm gonna make two of them and put cheese on one and then pepperoni on the other. Then we're gonna put it in the oven for 10 minutes at about like three, 300 or 350 degrees. Really easy and very delicious. Yummy, here's how they turned out. And since I use vegan cheese, it didn't melt like normal cheese. Regardless, it still smells good. It still looks delicious. We're gonna destroy these. I this right now, because I'm already so scared of flying. I just hate everything about it, except for the food. I don't understand how they get such bold flavors out of that. Hello guys, chilling on the couch with my sparkling wine and strawberries watching Modern Family. I actually haven't watched this show in a really long time. I was binging it like maybe a few weeks ago and then I like completely stopped watching it and now I'm back. It's one of my comfort shows. So this is what I'm gonna be doing tonight and then I'm probably gonna start editing this vlog. So I wanna get this up ASAP. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.